In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix black or blue screen driver PNP watchdog error in Windows. If you find this video helpful, please consider to like this video and subscribe to my channel. In saying that, let's just jump straight into the video. All right, so this error in Windows typically appears as a black or blue screen, often during startup or after a Windows update. This error is usually caused by corrupt system files, incompatible drivers or hardware conflicts. So I've jotted down a few different ways how to fix this. So the first fix, we can boot it into safe mode. So since this error may prevent normal startup, try booting in the safe mode to troubleshoot. So to do this, you wanna force shut down your PC, press and hold down the power button for roughly 10 seconds until it turns off. Repeat this three times until you enter Windows recovery mode. Then from there, go to advanced options, startup settings, restart, press four or F4 to enter safe mode. Once in safe mode, try these solutions below. So the first solution here is run Windows Troubleshooter. So open settings, Win plus I, go to update and security, troubleshoot, click additional troubleshooters, run blue screen troubleshooter. Fix free, update or reinstall drivers. So press Windows plus your X key and select device manager. Update IDE ATA controllers. Right click your SATA AHCI controller and select update driver. Choose search automatically for drivers. If updating doesn't work, try uninstalling the driver and restart your PC to reinstall. The fix four here is check for Windows update. So press Windows plus the I to open settings. Go to update and security, Windows update. Click check for updates and install any pending updates. Fix five, you can run system file checker. So open command prompts as administrator, search for CMD, right click and choose run as admin. Type in SFC scan now, press enter and wait for the scan to complete. If the issue persists, run these commands here one by one and then restart your PC after the process completes. Fix number six, check and fix disk errors. So you wanna open up command prompt as admin, then type check disk FR, Press enter and type Y when prompted. Restart your PC to let Windows check and fix those disk errors. Fix number seven, perform system restore. So if the error started after a recent update or installation, rolling back to a previous working state might help. So you wanna boot it into safe mode, see fix one. Then open control panel, recovery, open system restore. Choose a restore point before the error started. So if you remember when the error started, choose the day or week before that. Click next and follow the on-screen instructions. Fix eight is to reset Windows. So if none of the above work, you may need to reset Windows. So boot into advanced startup mode, see fix one, select troubleshoot, reset this PC. Choose keep my files, which is recommended, or you can remove everything if you don't mind losing all your files. And yeah, so there's a side note here. So try these fixes in order, starting with safe mode and updating drivers. If the error persists, resetting Windows might be the last resort, unfortunately.